in personal space takes on a whole new meeting these days. We just talked about the importance of keeping our physical distance, but some people still haven't gotten the memo. Let me bring in etiquette expert Elaine Swan. She joins us now via Zoom. Elaine, it can be a stressful situation when someone gets too close, with people already on the edge. What is the polite way of telling someone to back off without setting them off? Exactly. In this instance, you know, etiquette would absolutely dictate that we be very firm and very direct, yet polite and respectful all at the same time. And so rather than pointing the finger at the person and really making them feel bad about standing close to you because that can cause a conflict, instead, make it about we and us, because that's really what it is right now. And so you can turn to the person and say, you know, I think it's important that we take care of one another by putting some more space in between. So let's back up and give ourselves a little bit more space in this instance. Artfully done. All right, speaking of being outside the house, the CDC recommends wearing masks in public. And Olivia on Twitter wants to know, what should you do if you're out and someone's not wearing a mask? Do you give them, what do you, do you say anything? You just give them a dirty look? What's the, what's the right thing to do? You know, the thing about it is we have to look at uh, whether or not it's going to impact you personally. If that person is far enough away uh, to where they're really not going to impact you for personally, then you just let crazy be crazy and leave them alone. But if they are in your personal space, then this is an instance where you would say to them, you know, I think it's important for us to make sure we're protecting one another. So I'm going to have to ask you to please put your mask on while we're so close. And what if they're not wearing it properly? Maybe they, they you know, they is crooked or it's not to your liking. Is there a place where you're just a little bit overbearing or you still should bring it up? Yeah, but sometimes we can just be a little bit overbearing. We really want to make sure that we're respecting uh, other people and being considerate of them. Uh, sometimes when you point out wrongdoing, a person might get a little bit offended by that. So you want to be very careful in what you're saying. And so rather than saying, hey, you've got your mask on wrong, what you can say to that person is, you know what? Yesterday, I was wearing my mask the exact same way, and I learned that I actually really should be covering both my nose and my mouth. So telling them that maybe you learned something new and, and uh, bringing that up to them might be a little bit better and take some of the sting off of being told that they're wrong. Oh, such wise insights. Elaine, thank you very much.